we try to understand, to try to make sense of, of this enormous new wave of, of use of public space because it was visible. I think you, you didn't need a, a survey to realize that many people went to public spaces and that public spaces took a new role. So overall, from, from the, like the, the most basic findings, well, we, we confirm the, the, the perception that um, more people went to, to, to green spaces and more often, this for sure. And then in like, why did they go there? To, uh, mainly to enjoy nature, to take the children outdoor, that was important. Then you had some, for instance, some reason like uh, to meet other people, it was very prevalent before the quarantine and much less, of course, during the, the quarantine. Whereas to do some uh, physical activities was less prominent before and more prominent during, during the quarantine. There was a part of the research that uh, somewhat surprised me and this was uh, when we asked people to reflect about, about the future. So it was not only about what ha what's happening now during the, call it uh, the lock-in, uh, it was also about what, what's going to happen next. And the big share of the people, so 40% of the people said they're willing to go more often to public to green spaces than before the quarantine. So not only during like the, the extraordinary period we went through, but they were also saying, okay, in the post COVID, we want to we want to go more. And this means that, yeah, while enjoying of nature, they realize that it might be uh, better for them to, to, to use public um, gr uh, green spaces more often. C'est très important, très important de ne pas, priver, pas se priver de, de balades, pas se priver des relations sociales, euh, pas rester dans son petit coin, dans son petit, dans son petit studio, dans son appartement et se renfermer dans, dans un style de vie qui, qui est plutôt isolé, mais euh, avec beaucoup de bon sens, laisser la place à, à, au monde extérieur. ne pas céder à la météo, ne pas céder à la grisaille. Aussi, c'est donner la peine d'explorer euh, tous les endroits que peut-être on ne connaît pas, qui sont à proximité, et, et c'est donner la peine de, voilà, malgré, malgré les mauvais temps, d'accéder à l'extérieur, de choisir un fois un ami, un fois l'autre, pour ne pas partir à un gros comité, mais un petit euh, petite groupe, et, et donc ne pas négliger euh, l'aspect social et relationnel. Et, euh, je dirais vraiment euh, euh, avoir plus, euh, plus euh, la possibilité de, de, de se concentrer sur le monde extérieur euh, avec son propre bon sens civique. Well, I think the winter time will be if they do not find a vaccine, and that's, uh, I'm afraid they will not. Uh, that will take some time. Uh, of course, that will affect your, your, your private life as well. You will be more um, isolated. Uh, you will be more for yourself, so that will be more um, in.
So maybe we will stay home more during uh, this time. No plans to go anywhere. But we will do normally, like even if it is too cold, we will try to go out.